Father, we thank you for what you're doing in this hour. Thank you for the new anointing that's going to fall. Can we lift our hands? Just feel the presence of the Lord right now. Father, thank you for a new touch. While I was sitting, I heard the Lord say, every enemy that's come against you, we're arresting them. Amen. And their shame and dishonor that will come upon them will astound many. For the Lord says, according to what I said through my prophet Isaiah, in Isaiah 41, 11, that they, those that are incensed against you, will be ashamed and disgraced. You'll look for them, but not find them, for they will have disappeared. They'll go off into obscurity. They'll be no more. And those that continue to strive with you, they will become those who perish. And the Lord says, the words that have been spoken, the evil, the backbiting, the gossip, the hatred, the jealousy, the contention, it ends in this season for all of us servants of God. Lift your hands right now. I prophesy over every righteous leader. This is going to be the day where the wicked are going to be cut down, but the righteous are going to flourish. Amen. Judgment is not coming to Jesus and his friends. Judgment is coming to the devil and his friends. Amen. And the Lord said he's going to differentiate the, between the righteous and the wicked. And the Lord says mega branches, mega houses, many things will begin to rise the Lord says, now get ready to see the expansion of the house. Even the building where you are right now, you've known it's a temporary place. It's a thrown up structure for a season. But the Lord says, I'll give you your own property and your own building and your own branches across the land. I see branches of the house even going to other cities and other nations. And the Lord says, get ready for the day of the elevation for it is surely come. The Lord showed me also something very unusual. I saw your future. While I was sitting, I had a mini vision. I saw your future many years ahead, and I saw the children grown, and then the grandchildren. And then, of course, now the word comes about an addition. Well, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Mama, don't say, don't say the door is closed if God wants it open. But <laughs> Amen. Someone say, no, the door is closed. No, 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 no. But the, I saw, I saw a patriarchal a posterity that's going to be like for another generation should the Lord tarry. God says the apostolic grace is, is thickening and widening upon you and you're going to begin to see my favor in days like in these days like you've never seen. The Lord says millions of dollars will be in your hands my son for the work that you've desire to do. The Lord says men of renown men of the business world industries You'll find them and they'll find you and they'll place large things into your possession. God says, don't worry about the naysayers and the haters. They'll be as nothing. They'll be blown away as chaff with the wind. But the Lord says, this is going to be the day when the righteous are going to begin to flourish. Come on, somebody, if you receive that. The flourishing and every opposition that's come is being broken and destroyed in this day and hour. Right now, I prophesy. The city of Nairobi is going to become the New York City of Africa. The Lord spoke to me and said, my son, declare this. As New York was great, a great city in, its, in, in, the, in the land of America, Nairobi is going to be raised. And the opposition of people that, that have had, the, the, the warfare that people have had is nothing to compare with what's coming. The day of glory is upon us now. Lift your hands. One more. I don't want to take long, but I just want to say this. The day of glory is here. And you that have fought to pay the price and to walk with God and to keep hearing him and to give yourself to him. The Lord says the day of my reward is sure. And surely it's even upon you now, says the spirit of the living God.